Gravity, of course, is something that have, uh, well, many people have already thought about it. it. It's something that we see every day and it's not like it's uh, not existent in our every life. But what I mean by that it's an illusion is that uh, one would eventually like to know where it comes from, an explanation. Uh, up to now we have, uh, well, descriptions. I mean, Newton, of course, is the, the one famous for, for first writing down a theory of gravity. And uh, he could describe why apples fall and, and why the moon goes around the Earth using the same uh, basic equation for gravity. But um, he described it. Uh, he had to assume that gravity was there. And um, then, then had to write down a, a law that described that when two masses are at a certain distance, how they attract each other. But he was also not very happy with the fact that he should just well, assume that these things, uh, these objects, uh, attract each other and without even anything in between. So if there are two masses in empty space, there's no, uh, nothing that, that really happens between them, but still they're, they're attracting each other. And he thought that was kind of um, mysterious and, and that it was something he would have had liked to explain uh, in a better way. So later came Einstein and Einstein uh, with his uh, theory of relativity eventually uh, r realized that also gravity has to be described in a different way. And it took him quite some years, but then eventually he wrote down a theory where um, he thought about uh, space and time together. 
And then his explanation of what gravity would be is that uh, uh, there's masses uh, which curve um, space and time. And then the motion of planets and of the Earth around the Moon, or the Moon around the Earth, uh, is, is then described by um, thinking about moving in this curved space-time and how then objects are, are uh, well, making their, their orbits. And the reason they go around then in circles is that um, that space and time itself is curved in the sense that things don't move in straight lines anymore, they, they, they go around. So that was his explanation, but he had to write down an uh, equation for it, uh, which again assumed that gravity is there because he, he basically wrote down that, that the matter uh, curves uh, the space-time. Um, so in a certain way that's still uh, a description, or you, what I should say is, well, one would like to understand again why uh, this description sort of um, well, how, how you can, can understand it from a more basic point of view. So what I've done in my paper is try to uh, start from a, uh, well, from a point of view where you don't uh, assume gravity to be there. You would like to uh, explain it uh, by seeing how you can derive it from a more microscopic uh, set of equations where, where gravity itself is not assumed, but then just follows from a certain uh, logical reasoning. 